Hello everyone, welcome to Middle School Science. And I am going to be recording this video in order to show you just basically how to work your way through the various aspects of the video, work the technology and things like that. If you have any questions along the way, please let me know. But this should, this tutorial should help you get started. So this is what your weekly post will look like. This says week three, if you're just starting, you might be at week one. Um, new students, this is where the instructional video is. You're already watching that. Um, welcome to week three. And then the first thing you'll see usually is the Nearpod link. This is the link to the slides and the interactive features of the lesson. Um, if the link does not work, you can go directly to nearpod.com and enter the code that you will see there. Not this code, but the code in your post. Um, you also have the option to go on your phone or tablet and go to um, download the Nearpod app onto your phone or tablet. And then you can just enter that code and you can do the lesson on here. Now, some lessons may be difficult to do on here. And you would do that while you're watching my instruction video, my lesson video. Some of them may be difficult to do on here because it'll require a little bit of typing, but most lessons I think you can manage on a separate device if you choose to. Um, you'll also see the student notes link for the lesson and I'll show you that in a moment. The student's notes, notes link will cover the notes for that week. So for lesson one and two of that week. And that's basically an outline of the whole lesson. And that is something that people can refer back to when they are doing the quiz or any other assignments. Um, and then there will be a textbook link and I'll have the sections that we'll be working with right here. Okay, and then next you'll see lesson one, some instructions there. And then under, underneath that lesson two, some instructions there. And your homework will be listed under those lesson links as well. Okay, so here's an example of an activity in Nearpod. Um, one thing I want, sometimes there will be little mini quizzes. Usually the quizzes within Nearpod are not going to be um, graded. They're more for instructional purposes to help you to help the information I just talked about to sink in. Um, so for an example, I mean here, some of the questions are super easy and I do that because you're still learning. This is, this is like a learning slide rather than a quiz slide. So for example, what are the three ways light can interact with matter, reflection, transmission, absorption, pushing through, going around, bouncing back. It's pretty obvious what the answer is. And that is so that you're, again, you're learning as you're doing these little quizzes. Some of them, some of the questions are more, will require a little more thought. And as you're doing these sort of activities on the Nearpod slides, you can refer to your notes. So remember I said the link for the student notes is in there. Here's an example of the notes. Um, and it shows you which part of the textbook we, I got these notes from. So you can kind of link up, you can look for what you're looking for in that moment. Um, so here's an example of the notes. I think there's like four pages here. So it's basically an outline of the whole lesson. There's also the link to the textbook section that is covered by these notes. Um, okay, so let's go back to Nearpod. Uh, so one thing I want to point out with these interactive features on Nearpod is always press submit when you're done, because otherwise it won't show up to me that you actually did it. So down here on the right, anything that you do, look for a submit button before you go here to the next slide. Okay. Um, I tried to make this so that people can't go to the next slide before pressing submit but we ran into problems of people getting stuck on certain slides and not being able to progress through the lesson. So you're just gonna have to really remember to press submit. And you might get a notice here, like here it says some questions are un unanswered, submit anyway, but you, might, you won't always get that notice. Uh, I got that notice because I didn't answer any of the questions. Um, another one, for example, is time to climb. We'll do, we'll do this once in a while. This is just a fun activity. Um, it's, it's a timed quiz. So I think there's eight questions in this particular one. Uh, sometimes it takes a second to load. So just if, if all you see is time to climb and nothing's happening, give it a minute. Uh, you choose your character. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you how this works. It's cute. And then it's gonna take you to the questions and you have 30 seconds for each question. Um, some people don't do well under uh, timed <laughs> things like this. It's like too much pressure. They see the number going down. I'm one of those people. I don't like to be pressured time-wise, um, but 
it's okay. This, this will almost never be graded. So don't worry about it. It's, it's more of a review. Some of the answers are funny to, you know, help you to actually learn it and maybe get a chuckle. <laughs> so there's other interactive features. There's all sorts of things like fill in the blank, multiple choice. Um, uh, there's one collaborate board where everybody pins an image from the internet on there. So there's fun activities in Nearpod. Um, most of them you'll be able to figure out or I'll explain during the lesson, but okay. What else do I wanna show you? So you'll often be asked to do some work on a Google form, um, pretty simple to turn in and pretty simple for me to find and, and look through and send you feedback or grade. So always remember to put your name. I've, I've had a few people forget their name and then I, I can't give them credit for it. Like they forgot to put their name on a quiz recently and I don't know who it is. There's no way for me to find out even which class they came from um, unless they checked this too. So which, sex, which section of the class are you in? Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, two o'clock, Tuesday, Thursday, or 12 o'clock, two o'clock, if you're in one of my flex classes, you can put that here. Um, there might be other options by the time you watch this video. And then this particular uh, form was vocabulary. You fill these out and this you press submit. And I wanna show you how to save your work. Oh, it's not gonna let me, hold on. I have to put, oops, I have to put some data in here. So it's, I can't even spell my name right. Uh, I'll choose flex. Now I'm just gonna put the letter A in each of these just so it'll let me submit it. Because some of these forms you will be able to save a link to so that you can uh, review, ba go back to it to be prepared for your quiz or, or anything else. So watch what happens when I, oops, when I press submit. Okay, so on this form, you have an option to save the link. So what you would do is click on edit your response. You're not necessarily planning to edit, but at this point you can copy and then you can put this link somewhere. If you wanted to, you could put this in your notes. Um, so you could go to the top up here, uh, right click, oops, let's do it here. You could right click and paste your link there. That way you can go back to your vocabulary. All right, and I'm gonna delete that so I don't forget. Oops, okay. All right, now I this won't happen often, but occasionally I might ask you to turn in a Google slide. So I'm gonna show you quickly, this is pretty easy. I won't ask you to do anything crazy on here. First thing you can do is zoom it in so you can see it better. So I'll go to 100%. And now you can scroll up and down so that you can see uh, the whole thing and you can see it very clearly. Um, you might be asked to, this says, show the light that humans can see. So you might be asked to circle things. Um, if you need to input an answer, click here and just start typing. Just type hello, oops, no. Okay, it's not letting me, oh, there we go. <laughs> My computer was just delayed. And then click on the next one. Okay, pretty easy, right? Let me delete that. So somebody doesn't say, why is she saying hello here? This is weird. Okay, now I'll show you how to turn this into me. Um, since we're not working in a Google Classroom, it, it's a little bit more complicated to turn in, which is why I'm not using a lot of Google Slides, but you would press share. Now it says restricted, only people added can open this link. We're not allowed to share um, email addresses. So you're gonna change this to anyone with this link and then copy it and then send the link to me, either in the classroom, you can post it in a comment under the weekly post or you can send it directly to me. So you just um, paste the link in a message and send that to me, okay? Um, what else do I wanna talk about? Let me look at my little notes here. Uh, oh, okay. So the, the link to the video will be, so each lesson will have its own video. So here's lesson one, lesson video, all right? And it's gonna be a link to an unlisted YouTube video. So nobody can see it except the people in my classes. And then underneath less, uh, lesson two, 
I don't have that here, but underneath lesson two, you'll see another video. Um, okay, we're done with that. And last but not least, I am tracking everyone's uh, participation. So that means that I'm watching in the near slides to see who's completing their, their Nearpod slides. Um, if you get some things wrong, that's fine. If that That's more um, practice, the Nearpod slides, the different interactive features are more practice. The things that are graded are things such as if I give you a, um, a Google form to fill out for homework or a Google slide or the weekly quiz, things like that will be graded. Um, also participation includes um, being willing to interact during the classroom. It doesn't mean you have to unmute and talk. Some people are just shy like that. I'm fine with that. Um, you can type in the chat box. Just show me that you're participating, you're listening, things like that. Uh, if I call on you to read or something and you don't want to read, I totally understand. Just say pass, please, okay? Uh, if I call on you and ask a question, if you don't know it, just say, I don't know. Or you can answer the question in the chat or say, I don't know in the chat. Okay. So I'm not going to require you to perform. It's not easy, uh, you know, performing in front of peers and things like that for some people, other people love it, but we're all different. Um, and some people aren't comfortable reading. So I'm fine with that. Just, just, I want to know that you're interacting. Just, I need to see on some level that you're participating in the class and, and actively involved, that's all. Uh, and that's not necessarily graded, um, but I am going to, participation is not necessarily graded, but I will be sending parents uh, a four week progress report. So every four weeks in the class, whether it's the flex class or the live class, I'll be sending a progress report, just letting them know, you know, if, their child is participating, how I think they're doing, stuff like that. If you or your parents want me to grade your work and issue an actual grade every four weeks, please let me know. Please send me a private message and let me know that. And I will make a note in my, uh, where I'm tracking everything to be calculating a grade. Uh, I feel like there's something else. What else could I be forgetting? Uh, oh, if you are a student who's watch, who's in the live class, not the flex pre-recorded class, um, you will not see a lesson video here. <clears throat> Excuse me. You will not see a lesson video here. You'll see the Nearpod link. And that is so that, you know, people can still access the Nearpod um, even when we're not in class. Um, you'll see the student notes link, the textbook, everything else will be the same, except you won't see a lesson video because the lesson will be done live. Um, you will be able to access the recording in, a regu in the regular way that OutSchool provides. Um, within a couple hours of the class, normally you'll see a view recording button. If you don't see it, you can message me. Um, but so if you miss the class or you wanna go back and view the recording again because you missed some things or don't understand things, you're able to the, view the recording, but you'll be viewing the recording of the live class, not this pre-recorded class. So just wanted to clarify that. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. If you have any questions, please reach out to me and I look forward to working with each of you. Goodbye.